chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Jackson Lee, for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, with a lot of enthusiasm, I rise to recognize and to acknowledge a Renaissance man, a man with a sense of humor, along with his wife, Yvette, determined to help to make the lives of children around the world much better. Yes, he had a sense of humor and he was also a musician. And he visualized a day without hunger, hoping for it to be December 31st, 2013. Yank Berry has many sides to him. But enthusiastically, he takes each challenge, some that he's overcome in life, and put on the boxing gloves and simply won. I'm excited that he joined in partnership with Gary U.S. Bonds and Muhammad Ali to form the Global Village Champions Foundation, not just for boxing, but really to take boxers and box the troubles of the world away. In the course of his work, he has served over one, almost one billion meals, 954 million, on his way to a billion. He also doesn't take no for an answer in working to release five Bulgarian nurses and a Palestinian in Libya a few years ago. Not an easy task. And so, along with his 30-year music career, jamming with Jimi Hendrix, writing jingles, and yes, singing with the Kingsmen of Louis Louis fame, we can be grateful that he and his wife, Yvette, turned to a very important challenge, the Global Village Champions Foundation, which strives to become the undisputed world leader in private humanitarian delivery of nutrition to needy persons everywhere, sustaining human life and helping to eradicate hunger from the face of the earth. As someone who's worked with the Congressional Children's Caucus, it excites me to note that he continues to provide continued support for the children that we are already supplying with meals and other necessities. He expands the Global Village Champions team to include people with diverse skills and a determination to make a difference in the world. For more than 17 years, he's joined with his friends, Muhammad Ali, Gary U.S. Bonds. They haven't boxed, they haven't sung, but they worked to put a light in the darkness of lives of so many. His career has expanded many aspects. He even wrote jingles. He even was able to put forward a unique form of music. But I would say that one of his greatest challenges and greatest successes is that everywhere he goes, he takes his product that he has developed, Vitapro, and he changes the hearts and minds of those who are suffering. He started donating some of his food product to various charities and NGOs in Canada and the U.S. Soon, Yank's dear friend Muhammad, as I indicated, joined the Global Village, and they brought food, medical supplies, clothing, and educational tools to refugee camps and orphanages in areas stricken by disaster all over the world, from Africa, to Bulgaria, uh, to places beyond our imagination. As well, he worked with those like Celine, Celine Dion, Michael Jordan, Buzz Aldrin, and many others. As a result of his ongoing fight against hunger, Mr. Berry has received nearly two dozen awards since 1995, including the India Humanitarian Service Award, the Bahamian Red Cross Humanitarian Award, Cote d'Ivoire Humanitarian Award, Juarez, Mexico, Hands of Love, and it goes on and on and on. He does not do this for the awards. He does this for the simplicity of going into Bulgaria where those fleeing from the oppression of Syria were in camps that were not ready for humankind. Because of his frustration and because of his heart, decided to look for hotels that he could lease to move some of these desperate Syrian refugees already oppressed, already having lost loved ones, to hotels with clean running water, 
and places for their family to be. As I chatted with him, I was moved by the story of the family of 17. Didn't think anything of it, to move them out of a room smaller than a classroom and to give them space in this hotel so that they could live in dignity. Maybe even think of going back to a Syria that would be free from oppression, oppression and devastation. And so it is good that with his roots in our neighboring country, Canada, he came here to the United States to make a difference. I'm delighted today to recognize Mr. Yank Barry for his humanitarian service to all of the world and to be able to say to him, well done in life, continue to serve and save others. I yield back.